This video is going to cover adding in this uh, coloring of the names functionality so that you can differentiate between regular users in this greenish color uh, and admins in this, I guess, like teal or cyan color. We're also going to be adding links that when you click on a user's name inside the messages, it takes you to a chat with that user and say hi. And then, of course, it updates it over here. Uh, and one added benefit of this or curse, depending on how you look at it, is if you click on your own name, uh, you can go to a secret uh, message with yourself or you can just, I don't know, take notes or something. Some apps add this. It really depends on how you want to handle it. For me, I always like this because it's a place for me to just send myself some messages. So we're going to go ahead and get started, which means I'm going to have to stop the server and I'll bump up the font size in this one and I'll start the uh, episode 15 server and then we can go ahead and refresh. So this should be fine and then we can come down here and it might be a little bit janky because we haven't, uh, we don't have some of those images in this database. But okay, this seems fine. Let's go ahead and let's pop over to our app. Let me bump up the font size a bit. And then we can start by adding in the class that we're going to be using for this, which is going to be in our style sheets and our chatroom.css. We can come down to the bottom and you can just give this anything you want. Uh, for me, all I did was a msg-role-user. I'll full screen this. And I gave this a color of 00FF8C. We could do that. And then I did a .msg-role-admin. And I set this to be a color of 00E5FF. And if you want to change these, you can just click on this little icon. It'll pop up. If you're in VS Code, it'll pop up a color picker. And you can change your color to whatever you want. So now that we have that, we should start by adding it to our messages. So for that, we can come into our views, our messages, and our messages partial. And then in our messages partial, we should see a uh, user email. And then this is where we want to add our class. So for this, we'll say comma class, which is going to be equal to uh, msg dash role dash. And then it's uh, message dot user dot role. And that should, oops, msg dash role dash. There we go. I'll exit out of this. I'll refresh the page. It looks like it's unhappy about something. So we have our user email, msg dash role message dot user dot role. That seems fine. Oh, I see what's happening because this is plain text. We actually need to move this out of here. So we'll copy this. We'll get rid of this. And uh, we can just put this in with our H6 tag for now and we'll move it in a second here. So let me just do this and then we can do this. So that'll put it in the right location. And then if we come over here and refresh, we should now have that wrapping around our user messages for our names, which it does. It's message dash role dash whatever, but the whatever is blank because we don't have an equal symbol here. So we'll space this out, make sure we clean it up a bit. And we'll refresh and now we already have the names in here being updated. So let's go ahead and let's add in the uh, highlighting for the names in the user list. We can do that next. For this, we're going to want to go down to the users and the user.html.erb. In here, what we want to do is we want to find the, where is it, the user email, which already has a class. We are going to want to change these to double quotes. And then after the username, we can just do another msg dash uh, role dash user. After this, we can do a msg dash role dash and we'll open up a template and pop in the message dot user dot role. That should work. We'll refresh the page, but of course it doesn't because message is undefined. Uh, because in here we just need the user dot role and then we can save that and then we can refresh the page and now we're getting this list let me pop open a incognito window okay and it looks like this is correct we have different account colors uh, because dean is an admin in this case 
So now we can update the actual username so you can see where your own role is. And for that, I think we set that up in the rooms index. And then in the rooms index, we have the current user.email. We can once again change this to double quotes. Or what we could do is we could even change this to a link. We'll say link to the current user.email and then we'll just link to the current user. And we'll give this a class of msg dash role dash uh, user or current user dot role and quotes you can save that refresh the page so now dean can see that he is an admin and john can see that he is a regular user if you click on this it'll now take you to your hidden notes with yourself so i think that's actually a nice feature i didn't have that in the original demo so i'll just leave it like that now speaking of these links let's maybe make it so that if you click on a user in a message it allows you to go to a dm with that user so to do this, we need to come over to our message partial. And in our message partial, what we want to do is we want to take this message.user.email and we want to change this to a link to the message.user.email comma. It's going to take us to the message.user and then it's going to have a class of, and then here we want msg-role dash message.user.role, we'll save that, come over here and we'll refresh the page. And now this allows us to go to DMs with ourselves or other people if we click on, our, on the names in the chat rooms. So that gives you the coloring that we were talking about. Now you could of course take this a step further if you wanted to, and you could do something where maybe the background panel for an admin is a different color than a normal background panel. So maybe if John were an admin, the background panel here would be like a pure white with black text or just something different as a way to like differentiate between it. Uh, in this case, I was just setting up the roles similar to how Discord works. So if I open up Discord real quick, you can see that different roles have different colors for their names. And I thought this would be a good way to do it. What we can do in the future is we can actually set up a page for admins to go to where they can uh, edit their uh, the colors of the roles in the application. So maybe like a config page where you can set custom colors, which updates in the app. That might be neat. But I figured for this one, it's just an easy thing for you to quickly do. It's a good exercise just in how to deal with colors because I sort of always have a difficulty differentiating between uh, like features like this and figuring out how they work. Because to me, changing the colors seems like it would be very complex. And instead, it just ends up being a little bit of string manipulation with the classes. Uh, but of course, that's not the cleanest solution that we've done here, because some of this seems a little bit hard coded. But still, I think it's a uh, good exercise just in how to do stuff. I'd maybe put the message dash role dash whatever uh, in a controller. That might be a better way to handle it. But that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you're interested in how to do a uh, API with parent-child nested associations, I covered that the other day and I'll have a link to that video on the screen right now.